So we were making breakfast for the kids the other day, and um, I said to my wife, I know what I'm going to talk about at Strata. I'm going to talk about how Google has become an AI company. Now, I must explain at this point, my wife's a vet. So she looks up from swipe, cleaning up some spilt Cheerios, and she says, what, so Google's into artificial insemination now? At which point, my nine-year-old pipes up, Daddy, what exactly is art artificial insemination? And I, I, I then realized this talk was going in a direction I hadn't exactly planned. Um, but it revealed to me that actually we're doing a terrible job sometimes of explaining how artificial intelligence and machine learning is going to profoundly change everyday lives of, of all of us. So I want to use this time to challenge myself, challenge us, to think about what role we want to play in shaping this future. Now, when we as a species went to the moon, everyone assumed the very next thing we'd do is go to Mars, right? But it didn't happen. Instead, we decided what we would do is launch satellites. We invented you know, the, the space shuttle. We dispensed with the Ariane 5s that would have taken us there. We, we got on with other things. We built the space station. And all of that was great. But in that, we kind of lost that dream that somewhere along the line of, of conquering the galaxy and going to other planets. And here's what I think. You know, I think being in computer science can sometimes feel a bit like this. You know, that we, we feel like the biggest problems have kind of already been solved and that we're left, even if we don't admit it, kind of tinkering around the edges a little bit, solving, optimizing. But the really cool problems, the really audacious things, feel like they're too far away. They're sort of out of reach, you know, like science fiction. But now, of course, you know, NASA, companies like SpaceX tell us we could be on Mars by 2022. And, you know, machine learning and AI is for us a chance to transform the world. And as we stand on the brink of really what is a, a new revolution, we have to think about how this can transform companies. Now, you know, Google's part in this whole play, for our part, I think we, we kind of do our best work, really, when we think about solving intractable computer science problems. And, um, you know, it was that that I think led to some of our best work around, you know, inventing the thinking around what led to big data, and ultimately the cloud. You know, and for us, um, uh, the, the cloud has become the way that we can, uh, we can take, we can solve some of these problems. It's the cloud that's going to make the difference to reaching these problems that fell out of reach. And for our part, we're building a cloud that's really optimized for this AI future. Um, we, we're doing, you know, for example, last week we talked about the release of our cloud uh, TPUs, our tensor processing units. And these are incredible optimized pieces of hardware that can deliver in a pod, 11 and a half petaflops of computing power. And this is computing power that is optimized for doing training and inference of machine learning modeling. Now, previously, these kinds of things, our models would take, say, for vision, would take us you know, a whole, whole day uh, to process one of those models. Now we're able to do that in just an afternoon with one eighth of the number of processors. And this is faster than anything you can do on CPU or GPU, including the new uh, chips that NVIDIA released. So really quite ex exciting stuff. More than that, we're infusing all of our products uh, with, with, a, with an AI feel. If you want to hear more about that, come to my talk a bit later today. When the PC first came out, the last kind of big revolution, you know the very first application that people wrote? It was a VT100 terminal emulator. You know, it was as if people were trying to use the future to recreate the past. You know, and I see the same kind of thing happening again. And it took, you know, Windows and the Macintosh to teach us how to use that technology. And I see this happening already again with AI. You know, what we see is data analysts, perfectly respectable job, being, you know, rebadging themselves as data scientists without really using, without going to learn and show respect to that discipline and understanding what that really means. You know, and we see um, companies, traditional BI companies, peddling this kind of AI ML thing with, here with extra AI without really understanding how that's so transformational. So, I, you know, I want to ask us not to be that guy. Let's not be that, that, that role. And, and let's challenge ourselves. I want to kind of leave 
this with you, that let's, let's take time this conference not to leave without understanding some of these fundamental you know, new technologies. We've got really good talks at different levels. Whatever level we're at, whether you're beginning or whether you're a very deep expert already, take advantage of these. We'd love to talk to you. We've got our booth. We'd love, we've got some demos and code labs. Come by. We'd love to chat to you. And so my nine-year-old, unable to get a good answer, turns, to, uh, turns away from us, and she says, hey, Google, what's AI? And there, the computer started to teach her. And maybe that's a glimpse of the future. So join with me. Let's make sure that we play our role in, in this, this new moonshot for all of us. Thank you.